Um, Where are we? Oh jeez. We're in Longford. Sure are. We're in Longford. A county well known for its mountains. Which means that this is a very... Uh, very, very flat mountain. Yeah. This is uh, the... One of the lowest. One of the lowest. I, I don't remember the second or third lowest maybe. Yeah. 278. 278 meters. Yes. This is uh, Cornhill? Cornhill. Cornhill. Yeah, Cornhill. Uh, it actually has a couple of different names, I, but I think Cornhill is the accepted okay, cool. name. So yeah. we're going to do Cornhill. Um, we are starting at the gate that um, is the way up to the mast. Yeah. There's a, so like a lot of the high points, this has a big RTE mast on top. Um, and so in theory, you shouldn't be doing in the winter in case there might be ice that falls from the mast onto you. Um, but yeah, so there's just an access road yeah. straight from this uh, clearly reasonably new car park um, yeah. up yeah. to the high point. Uh, they've actually added a little, a little like trail thingy for people yeah, to walk, yeah. here, which is great. It is the only hill in Longford, so it's nice that they've made an immunity out of it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think this is a really short, like three or three and a half kilometer walk. Yeah at the high points. So we're yeah. going to walk the little loop. Yeah. We're going to high five the high points yeah. and um, return to the car. Yeah. It's going to be an exciting adventure. Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. Let's on go. we go. <laughs> So I think this single three kilometer little path up a 270 meter mountain is probably more popular than all of the National Wayward Trails. <laughs> Except maybe the Dingle and Kerry Ways and the Wicklow Way. Uh, I think we've probably passed like 50 people at this stage, <laughs> which is great. I'm really pleased to see something so, uh, yeah. so used. Uh, it's a nice community to get people outside. I haven't even seen any like rubbish or anything like that. And there's loads of benches for people to sit at. Loads of benches. Loads of benches. I actually also think that this has more benches per kilometer than any <laughs> national <laughs> landmark trail. There's another one. Um, yeah, which is really great to see. I'm really pleased to see it. Uh, I think it's fantastic to see people out in the mountainside. And uh, yeah. So there is a trig point over there somewhere, over there, and uh, it's not worth it because all you get is a view of the mast building. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend you bother doing it. Yeah. You can get within sight of the trig point and there's nicer views from practically any other part of this this place. Yeah. So, um, yeah. but hey, such is life. Yeah. yeah, pretty much, okay. Now I guess yeah. we head home. <laughs> Yeah, back down the path and now it's like a four minute walk back to the car and off you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Peek bag. So this is the second low high point we've done where I think we both came in with very low expectations. <laughs> But it's actually quite nice. Yeah. 
like there are way more views from 278 meters than I thought there could be. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly, like, it's really ha happily surprising. Yeah. I suppose the weather is also quite important here. If you go here on a day with good visibility, you can see pretty far. Yeah. And you can get quite nice views of Quilca from here, which is cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You get really nice lighting that really uh, accentuates your new haircut. Uh, yeah, but um, honestly, it was actually totally reasonable. Like, I wouldn't go here with any expectations. No. And then you're pleasantly surprised, you know? Yeah. Like, if you're looking for a nice family walk. This totally is absolutely. Takes that box. I don't know, like, we're only three in, but I doubt that there's any high point as accessible as this one to, like, a buggy a buggy or you know a person who has like slight difficulties walking um like there's a short hill of maybe a hundred meters yeah. uh, and then you feel like you're on top of something and then you're already on top of something like yeah this is what it looks like To, to get better views of other mountains. This car is so warm. I actually don't want to move. I'm like, I feel very, uh, I don't know what the phrase is for this. Like hot water bottle kind of comfort? Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. I feel like I'm wearing a hot water bottle.